my name is Megan McKinley. I want to thank you all for tuning in with me today. And today we're going to be talking all things skin care. Yes, I have a skincare haul and a beauty fridge tour scheduled for you guys today as well as you'll go through my morning routine for my skin. All right, okay. Now let's get into it. So first things first, I want to just tell you all a little bit about my skin because in the last three years or so, right before I moved to Los Angeles, I started to notice that I was having major breakouts. I'm somebody that went through all my teen years, didn't have but a couple pimples. I never really suffered with bad acne, but I do know that my mom and my brother have suffered from severe acne, but their skin is under control now. So when I started getting this adult acne, I'm like, where is this coming from? Like, I, I have good skin. Like, what are these breakouts? Like, why is all of this happening to me? I had all kind of rough texture. It was like blackheads. And I started getting um, cystic acne. And I really struggled with that for at least um, a year and a half. About 2017 and 2018, I really struggled really bad with those breakouts while I was on the West Coast. And I actually started going to a dermatologist and I used medical grade skincare products. And that did allow me to get my skin under control as well as doing an acne facial where I got extractions. Um, she cleaned my pores. She told me a little bit more about my skin and what she noticed. And I was able to maintain around right before my birthday last year and before we went into quarantine, I started to have breakouts on the regular again. And I'm like, what is going on? I have radiant skin. <laughs> like, why is this happening to me? So that's when um, I started experimenting more with skincare products. Um, and I found Dermalogica and I started using their system and it really just started working for me, just making sure that I'm on a consistent schedule with my skin. I realize I'm somebody that has to have a skincare regimen both day and night for my skin to have that glowy, no texture, just smooth glass skin type of feel. And right now that's what I'm trying to get back into. Like my goal is really to have a glass skin. Granted, all skin has some type of texture, but the texture I was talking about, as you saw in those photos, is not just your normal skincare texture. I have a lot of sebum and my pores are very deep and they're, and they're a little wider than others. So on my skincare haul, I want to show you all kind of what I use on a normal skincare day, um, what works when my skin is doing good and I'm maintaining, what I use for acne breakouts, what I'm using to treat dark marks and things like that. And these are skincare products I've bought within the last month or so. So it ha I have had an opportunity to see how my skin reacts to these products. What helps clear my acne for a couple days if I have a breakout is this wash right here. It's the CeraVe Renewing Essay Cleanser Wash. And actually one of my friends actually put this on to me under my first vlog that I did. Hey, Octavia. We both have struggled with our acne. And so she told me this is what really helps her get her acne under, under control and maintain when she has breakouts. So she recommended it and it worked for her. I definitely wanted to try it. And what I like most about this cleanser as it's a, um, a SA cleanser is that it doesn't dry your skin out. I already naturally have dry skin. I suffer from eczema. I even suffer from eczema on my skin and have um, a little pigmentation and, and blotchiness. So having one that doesn't dry me out already um, is amazing. And I use this twice a day when I have breakouts and then when I'm having kind of a good skincare consistency, I use this maybe twice a week just to make sure that I'm doing that extra special deep cleanse of anything even thinks about popping out. We wanna make sure we get it in check and this will definitely get it in check. So when it comes to my everyday skincare routine, I use Dermalogica and I love the Dermalogica products. I tried this. This is the first skincare regimen that I tried during quarantine when I was trying to get my skin under control after my birthday. I had the trial size, I really loved it, but Dermalogica is more on the pricier side, which a lot of these products are. So just do your research, see if it's worth your investment. But that I noticed that I'm somebody that I can't get a Aveeno or Neutrogena and things like that from Target or Walmart, just over the counter type products. Uh, that are available to you. I have to kind of put my coins together and save up and really invest in my skincare because I've noticed that's how my skin 
reacts best is when I have more high quality products that actually work for me. And luckily I didn't have to, you know, go here and there high and low. I was able to invest in these, they worked and I didn't have, and I didn't waste my money. And that's what I also like about higher skincare brands or more moderate price to high price skincare brands. They often offer um, smaller packages, sample sizes and, tri and travel sizes so that you can actually try them out at home before actually investing in the full size uh, regimen that can be a little more on the pricey side. But hey, everybody offers afterpay. As my mom says, $10 a month pay for anything. <laughs> so for my everyday skincare routine, I usually use Dermalogica both day and night. That comes with a pre-cleanse, comes with a um, daily microfoliant, um, and I'm gonna insert the price on the screen because I don't wanna quote you all wrong, and I'll let you know how much the set was. I did catch this during a holiday sale, y'all, but Dermalogica always, get, always gives you free gifts and, and they run sales pretty much. Just sign up for their newsletter if you're interested in these products. And they also sell them, I think, in Sephora or Ulta, too. And then it also comes with a special um, cleansing gel. See that? Just like this. And then I always get the multi-active toner when I order from Dermalogica because this is actually a toner that I really, really like. I think... I'm going to invest in the bigger size next time just because I love it that much. Um, but this is what it is always a free gift usually. So I've never had to buy the big size and actually this does go a long way. And it's a 1.7 ounce uh, bottle. Yes, so how you use these is you go pre-cleanse, cleanser, microfoliant, toner, and then you add any serum or a moisturizer that you have. Right now, I don't use any of the Dermalogical Moisturize, but we'll get into what moisturizer I do use later on in the video. So I, so with the pre-cleanse, I only use the pre-cleanse a couple times a week, if that, and it really is just to break up the dirt in your pores and kind of like prep it and get it ready for you to use the following products, kind of like, of course, what it does, a pre-cleanse. But I noticed it's also oil-based, so I am like really weird about that, but I, I like using this best right after I have taken off my makeup and then I go into my skincare routine. And I'm about to try something new for when I do my skincare after my makeup, just because I know my pores are deeper and I want to avoid breakouts. So I have to do something a little more extensive, but I'll be sharing that with you all later after I kind of see how it goes. Cause I'll be wearing makeup more with doing videos and shooting content and things like that. And I want to make sure that my skin isn't agitated. So this is great for breaking up any residue or leftover dirt if you use makeup wipes or if you think you, um, however you take off your makeup. This is great for making sure you got everything from like your neck, under your chin, forehead, and your creases. So this is perfect for that. The um, cleansing gel I really love is really gentle. All of these products in this line is really gentle because they're not acne specific. They're more so just to take care of your skin. And then the microfoliant is actually my favorite because I like to use scrub. This is gentle enough to be a scrub, but also gentle enough that you can use it every day and then not irritate your skin or dry you out or anything like that. Following those three products, I go and I spray with a toner and just do one, two, three. I usually do three sprays, let it dry, add my serum, add my moisturizer, um, depending on if it's day or night. Okay. So let's hop into my favorite specialty products. So my favorite specialty product right now is the Dr. Dennis Grove Extra Strength Daily Peel. And this helps with fading dark marks. To me, it also helps with the inflammation in my acne and it's a two step system. And you use one first, you use the one that's labeled one first, and then you label number two. <laughs> label number two, you use second. But you put this one on, after you've done your skincare regimen, I would say don't do your moisturizer, don't put toner on, um, just do, you know, if I was to do Dermalogica, I would just do the cleanser and the microfoliant, let my face, pat my face dry, and then I would use this, put it all over my face, you can get your neck, your chin, and you wipe, 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 and you wipe until the little cloth is completely dry, and then you throw that away, 
you wait two minutes and then you follow up with the second wipe and you wipe, 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 wipe until the cloth is dry. You throw that away, you let your face dry, you let all of those things soak into your skin. And then you follow up with a facial spray, a toner, a moisturizer. So when I got these, well, first of all, I heard about these from Kyra Omni. And if you really wanna see somebody who changed their skincare game, I took little nuggets from her video and that's how I got put onto these. I loved her skincare video. She was very thorough and everything as far as her, her journey. But when she talked about these, I was like, I have to try it. The only thing is they're like $88. Whew, you know, and you get 33 for $88. Actually, you get 38 because I think they give you five. If you go to Sephora, you get like a bonus in their packets. And I used this when I first got it because I was having bad breakouts and I was ready to try these products because I had been waiting, okay? I did it for about four or five days straight and I did it at night because with these, you definitely have to be careful because you can get skin damage and things like that if you go out in the sun and you don't use an SPF or anything like that. I usually do this at night and it just helps fade any dark marks, um, which I've already seen it do. Um, any redness, reduce redness, reduce inflammation. It helps clear your skin if you got like a little, you know, you got one that's trying to come up out of there, like a little pimple trying to come to the head, you put that on there and I'm telling you, it was like magic when you wake up in the morning. And when I got this, I did not get the $88 one, which had 38 treatments. Um, I got this one that came into a specialty package for the holiday. Now, what I also love, but I know is, it usually is pricey, is vitamin C serums and vitamin C moisturizers. So within the Dr. Dennis Growth packet, it was 21 treatments. I got the serum. And then I also got the trial size of the um, moisturizer. What I really love is just, this is a brightening serum, so it brightens your face, not lighten your face, Don't not to be confused with like a skin lightener, but just when you wake up, you're gonna have a glow, you're gonna look refreshed, and that's what I like, especially now that I'm trying to get up earlier and earlier and earlier in the morning. Um, I've really been enjoying these. I will invest in these again. After I did like the four or five days of this straight, I noticed a difference in my skin and then I just started to manage with um, the Dermalogica. The thing with this, I have done this, but don't I don't recommend it. But I would say if you're going to, if you're having acne breakouts, I would use this like maybe in the morning and then do your regular reg um, regimen in the evening and then follow up with this in the evening. I say these are two, I say this because SA Cleanser has acid in it. These have acid in it. You just don't want all that acid on your face and just to be safe. And then also you need to make sure how your skin reacts to this. Always read the directions with this because I did try a sample size before and I didn't do it right so I didn't feel like I got the results. Then I went back and read the actual directions and I'm like, girl, you was the one that was wrong. <laughs> so that's that. So yeah. This is the beauty fridge that I got for $22 from Walmart. It was being discontinued, but I've been watching it for a while. And I just wanted to show you that it has the mirror and everything. It has the LED touch light, so you can turn it on and off. Boom, boom. So when you open it, and it also has a switch in the back. So the switch in the back will show you that it's either on, off, and it's on cool or hot. So things that I keep in here are like my facial sprays. Um, I clean my makeup brushes with Dr. Bronner's. I put that in here. It doesn't necessarily have to be in there. As you can see, it already kind of started to change. It probably does not need to be refrigerated. So ignore that. But I also keep my toner in here. I keep my Dr. Uh, Dennis Gross pads in here. This is my, I also keep my eye cream in here. And I have these, and I have these out for the video, but I also put my serum and my vitamin C moisturizer in there as well. Also, a beauty fridge is perfect for if you make your own skincare products or hair products and things like that um, from scratch, like flaxseed gel and those type of things, because you can keep those longer. And it has it has a safety lock, so you just boom, and then it locks back. 
like it's perfect for natural skin hair care like things like base but those products anything that you make from scratch if you make your own mask they preserve better in the fridge so having this on your vanity or having this in your bathroom and you are someone that likes to make their own masks things like that out of fresh fruits and vegetables this is perfect because you can put it in a small mason jar store it in here and it'll last a few days longer because i know i'd have made some masks and things before and like by day two it's molding and i'm like what in the world what happened but if you have it in the fridge it'll give it a little bit more shelf life but things natural aren't going to have that much to the shelf life anyways because it's natural so like even aloe like getting your fresh aloe from the aloe vera plant scrape that put it in a container and put it in here also those that have jade rollers you can put the jade roller inside here i put my eye patches inside here as well it has a black cord but honestly the way the cord is if you have a different type of cord it can fit in there as well um and plug in into the wall the only thing I don't like about this is because here, this is my mother's house, all her main bathrooms have double sinks. Therefore, it's only space in the middle. Whereas where I'm going with my apartment and many apartments, it's like a longer, you have a little bit more counter space and it's just one sink. So this can easily fit up against the wall. If you, when I move, I'm gonna get a vanity and I think I'm gonna put the vanity, I'm gonna put this on my vanity in my room just because I don't like the way the cord looks. And if it needs a little, it's not that big, honestly. It's not that big. But if you have a thing like this, unless you got a plug in the middle, it's not, it's gonna be an eyesore, basically. <laughs> unless you have a plug in the middle, it's gonna be an eyesore. So yeah, she real cute, y'all. She real cute.